Word in the City is a, a new model of Bible study, of Bible study fellowship, which is an organization that has existed for 50, 60 years. It has Bible study classes in 39 different countries. It has 1,100 locations. Um, people from all backgrounds, all church backgrounds or non-church backgrounds, uniting together to read scripture in depth. And its, its vision is to see global in-depth Bible study classes producing passionate commitment to Christ, His Word and the church. So Word in a City is building on what God has built for the past 50 years. And the purpose of this model is to design a Bible study experience for young adults, not to water it down, but to develop the experience of it, to remove all barriers and to encourage and inspire the reading of scripture. So it's designed for young adults to help them read the Bible and therefore know God and by doing so be trained and equipped to serve God in his church, to get back out of there, back into the churches, and then with the church, get into the city, witnessing to Christ. But at the core and center of it, of all of that, is reading the scriptures, getting in the scriptures, training in the scriptures. And it, it works, first of all, by taking place in city centers, and in neutral venues, not in church buildings. Again, as a way to remove another barrier in case it is a barrier for people who want to read scripture. So that people from all backgrounds or non-church backgrounds can come. And um, it works on the basis of a five-fold approach, whereby throughout a whole year, we study uh, one book, for example, in 2017, 2018, it will be Romans. And uh, there is a weekly schedule provided to enable people to make their way through each chapter of Romans throughout the year. And that begins with what we call solo study. So people are reading for themselves and we give them all the tools necessary, whether questions, Bible study tips, and communicate with them online to give them that. And then when they arrive at the weekly gathering in the city center with people who are not Christian, people who are Christian, all backgrounds, they then discuss their insights with the aid of questions. And then the next step is a live lecture, which involves feedback from the room. We all learn from each other, a 25 minute lecture. And then we have a time of what we call Q&R, question and response, because some of the questions are huge and really important. And we, Word in the City wants to create a forum for asking questions centered on the text. But if there's a question we cannot answer in that moment, we will not waffle an answer out. We will read the question out and get back to people or continue the discussion and purposely looking at scripture for the answer. So that's the third layer. The fourth layer is called Next Level, where we give them extra notes to go even deeper. And then the fifth component is a vital component, it's called Word Alive, because central to this is first of all, we want to see the Word of God come to life in our hearts. It's living, it's active, it's sharp, it's relevant. And, but we also want to see the Word come to life in obedience and what we do with our lives in action. And that includes going back into our churches, into the ministries, looking at the next generation, and leading them, pointing them to Christ, but constantly feeding ourselves. And also then beyond that, the witness into the cities. The cities, again, is a barrage of words, and Word in a City is an opportunity to encourage Christians to stand firm. So Word in a City is a, a new model. It's starting in Europe. It began in Ireland, moving into England and Scotland this year. Uh, we have connected with a number of different people that represent cities across Europe. And our goal is not to bring in the finished product, the finished model, and telling people this is how you need to do Bible study. The goal is to bring a wonderful structure and resource which has existed for many years, but to invite each city into the innovation and 
for them to contextualize the model for their city, for their culture, in that specific history. And that's really important. But ultimately, the purpose of Word in the City is in the name. To bring the Word of God, the Word become flesh, His words, into the city. And provide an opportunity for people to read the Bible. And to do that, to encounter the living God.